People call me Mexican, and others they call me American. But they seal their minds to the idea that I am a Mexican American. My tongue is split into two cultures. One, I'm able to intercambiar como pasos de la mano sobre the grass which I have seen in both homes, each surrounded by pinos and pines. My hands are patriotic and nationalistas. They grab hold of the deep soils which maintain the red, white, and blue, green, white, and red, both overlooked by an eagle. I hold my hands out constantly so I never forget the feeling of work. These are the traditions I was ingrained with by my father. He told me, Mijo, aprende las tradiciones aquí para que la vida se te haga simple. Learn the traditions here so life can be simple. And so I slap my hands against the earth until I match the rhythm of tradition. But those are my father's words. I had to crane my neck to hear those of my family. To them, I'm not brown enough. To them, I'm not proud enough. To understand them, I have to equal them. Or my pigments begin to fade away with every palabra that I forget. So now I am forced to carry a Spanish dictionary with me. My two instincts are conflicting. My mind is torn between gringo and beaner, huero and wetback. But all I hear is this rustling sound of confusion. My fibers have woven into the founding threads of two different countries. But I never expected their borders to split. So now my sockets are torn out of place. I guess when you try to bring land and water together, it will just create tension. People have this vision of expectation for Latinos. Inverse to this are the standards of my birthplace, where Spanish is truly and only an asset if you're white. I have to prove to you that I know links and cues and all of her twists before I recite Neruda or Machado. People tell me I'm denouncing my heritage, but I don't see you speaking with an English accent, so your logic seems to be flawed. Forgive me for leading myself into a life where Spanish is not applicable constantly. But listen to me at home, and you will hear que mis maderas están cubiertas con las oraciones y palabras de mis ancestros, que sí puedo soñar en español. And unfortunately, all of that will stay behind a locked door. For walking out of that home, I'm required to speak English. And for that, they'll call me whitewashed. So listen now and listen carefully. I'm not whitewashed. Part of my music taste is not completely ranchero. Part of my speech for not being macho, I find it ignorant. Part of me for living culturized. I love the world a little too much. I don't define my life by what I do. I define it by what I think. And I've been to both countries, pull my tongue against the air. And I think that they both have the nostalgic taste of home. Woo.